All right, hello everyone, and welcome to this Minecraft show. We don't have sound. Uh, we do have sound, so that's all good. And we're going to be doing Make with Python today. Uh, Nell, can you go back to the home screen? Yes. Then, um, so you're in the Make code for Make with Python for Microbit Minecraft Education Edition, uh, and then to show we code in Python or in blocks in make code to create super cool Minecraft creations. We're in Minecraft education. Uh, we're also live on Mixer. Um, so if you wanna see this live and ask questions, you can do so. And if you're on YouTube, feel free to tag along and do the same activities. My name is Pelly and I work in make code team alongside with- No. Nell is our coder extraordinaire today. Nell's choosing her outfit of the day before getting into some coding activity. All right, now. So if you're uh, if you're here on Mixer, make sure you follow our channel. And if you're on YouTube, uh, subscribe to our channel so that you get notified of all the movies you can find. All right, now let's uh, create a new world. And uh, let's do a And we're going to be doing agent activities now. We are? What do you want to do? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's get into the make code. So to do that, we're going to press C. Did you add arrow keys? No, I haven't added arrow keys yet. Mm. Uh, so C gets into the code builder. And this is where we've been doing all our code. Now, what? activity are we going to be doing today? I think we've done all those tutorials in Python now, so we have to do more. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. We could do some. We could recreate some of the superpower. I was thinking we could do the agent checker in Python. But that's so hard. <laughs> all right, the agent checker. We're doing it in Python. Or you can choose, or the pyramid. One of the two. Didn't we do the pyramid? No, we didn't. All right, the agent checker is great because we're going to learn how to use the inventory in, uh, in the agent, which is very helpful. Pi checker. Everything has to start with pi in pi world. Wait, I have a question. Should, can you get more than... Yeah, you just have to add more letters. <laughs> the longer, the more I, the more emojis. Yeah, I only want more. All right. I just wanted to know. Okay, so you typically start in blocks, and we're not going to do in blocks, so we're going to go straight to Python. And we're in Python, and we're going to maybe zoom in once. And the goal of this exercise is to create a checkerboard, just like when you play chess. Wait, I know what we have to do. I know what we have to do. All right. And it's like... Wait, wait. What are we doing? Thinking gargles. Oh, sorry, I had to, okay. What we're doing is we have to give the agent his blocks first. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Except Always if, forget that. there's always one that you can do in code, but. Yeah, where's the agent? Oh, yeah, it spawns right here. Uh, yeah, so what do you want for colors? So checkerboard it doesn't have to be black and white. We could do anything. Do some cool uh, mix of colors. I, I like how these are. They look so weird. All right, so it's going to be some weirdish terracotta and some. Uh, but this oh, one's... yeah, there's some really nice looking ones. And also green. Oh, sweet. All right, that's our checker data. So once you make sure you equip your agent with the in the two first slots, and those are the ones we're going to be using in the code. Looks good. And we're back to coding by pressing C. Okay, so... First we have to do agent... Wait. Ah, uh, yeah, you want to teleport to him. There you go. And then we but... have to teleport farther. Oh, wait. Before we do that... That's good. Oh, what do you want to do? Oh, a comment? 
Yes. Okay, so if you want to add a line above, you were right, and then you press enter. There you go. And comments in Python start with a pound key, the pound character. Here you go. Uh, start. Start. Beautiful. Yeah, you, you can see they look they look green. Um, Let me do this. There you go. Start. Agent teleport to player. Player. Player teleport to. Teleport to. Uh, when we when we usually do five away. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of our regular startup code. Then. Then we want to build this checkerboard. Comments are great to organize your code. Yeah, comments are very helpful. They give uh, the natural language meaning to the code mm. build. So it's it's. It's a help for someone else or future self when you have to go back and read your code. Helps a lot. There we go. All now, right. now we have more space. And I also put a line to show that there's separation. Yeah, very nice. Because you want to clean your clothes. Yeah, you want to have it structured so it's easier for you to read. There's It, it gets really hard if you're, if you're messy. All right. Um, so let's break it down. You want to you want to build a little checkerboard on the ground so we can see what we need to do. I know what helpful. we have to do. I know what we have right. to do. I know. Uh... But I'm gonna build one, just so that we see oh, what's right down. the goal here. Yeah. Can I build it? Yeah. Can you build it? Um, I have no more, no longer any yeah. blocks. Just put some blocks. All right, so something like that. Yeah, three is fine. And now. And then it turns. Uh, and then switches. Oops. OK, so that's very helpful. That's what we're going to try to do. But we're going to have the agent do that. I know, I know what we have to do, and it's really easy. All right, let's, let's get. First, you have to find how much num how big you want your thing to do. All right. Maybe. How about we start with the small number so yeah. we don't have to wait very long. So what you could do is declare a variable, and you could say side. You don't want a variable. Well, I think we could do it a repeat. Oh yeah. A for. Let's do a for loop. That's yeah. great. So and then you just keep on. Okay, so. So for loop. Is probably under loops. Yeah, for loops. There's Great. A, there's only one loop, yeah. and that is the for loop. And for loop, you tell it you want to go the range from zero to four. And how about we start small, and we'll do bigger later on. Four. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to do? Um, you basically, you have your agent going straight. Agent place on move. Uh, how about we just break it down to, we'll tell him to place. We don't use a place on move on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so agent place block in slot one. All right, so if you go to the agent, there's a few blocks, I think, to select which slot the agent is picking blocks from. I remember in blocks, yeah. the, it's to, the mouse is starting to go squeaky. Set active slot. There you go. So you're going to put that under for loop. And you want to say, OK, we're using slot one. Perfect. That's good. Then I guess. Then place. Then place. Make sure. Make sure you are indented. Excellent. Now you have to tell the agent to place. So you start typing agent dot. And there is a place there. Then you now, tap it. You want to be placing things 
kind of behind you or to your side, but not in front of you, otherwise you're going to be stuck. So behind. Yeah, something like that. Let's backspace this. Yeah, back. There you go. Tab, yeah. Tab, yeah. And then... I think... So your agent selected a slot, it placed a block, and then it should... Let's get her. You want to try it out and see what happens. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he's complaining. See what he's saying? What? Because he's not moving? He's not moving. Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. We forgot to add the block to move him. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Wait, I am a pythonist right. mistake. Okay, so... So we select a slot, we place in the back, and then... Okay, so does he just have to move forward now? Yeah, just like that. Now you can press dot. Oh, you can do that and enter it or tab it. There you go, forward by one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I yeah. think we can try out this code. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh wait, but he still that one. We forgot. We have to do. Yeah. Now we have to do. Yeah. Stop. Stop jumping. Sorry. So, can I fly? Yeah, you can fly. So, I just sort of like those blocks. Yeah, they look really good from the top. They look like carpets. Okay. So I should have used shift. Okay. Um. Here we go. All right. So we've. We've done, we want to interleave this. Oh, you're going to copy paste. Let's go. The three lines. So you can either do that with the mouse or with the keyboard. Oh, yeah, I do. So place the cursor there at the start. Here. And then start pressing down shift. And now go down and control C. And control V. But now we need slot two. We need slot two. And this is okay. Although I had Mr. Squibble is here. He's really not happy. Oh yeah, tabbing. Um so you could add comments here actually, you know, like could separate this and say this is slot one. And then this is slot two. Okay. Or even better, we could use a second for loop. I'm gonna see if it works. <gasps> Look how cool it looks. Brilliant choice of colors. Thank you. Okay, and now he has to turn. Big mm. goggles, please. Mm. Hey. <laughs> it, it has to see your face. Otherwise, you can't put gurgles. I chose it. All right. It has to go left. All right, let's do that. Wait, but see, he moved one more. No, no, has... no, that was the. I think that was the old. We ran into the old uh, construction. We have to walk away. There's one thing we can do still now, mm -hmm. um, just to simplify our code. So there's a pattern here. A lot of changes between those two lines. Uh, the agent slot? Yeah. Can we simplify this? Uh, I know what we could do. What could you do? We could make a function out of that. Could, but then that just is... You could do a, another for loop. I could. Inside of another for loop? <laughs> what? All right, so check this out. Wait, wait, wait. Mind blowing? I have no idea what you're gonna do, so. I know you can. What? Do you can do them inside of each other? Oh, yeah, you could do that in blocks. Look. Now, I'm gonna use the next letter J. 
What is it gonna do? And this is gonna be using J. Oh, you can't do that in blocks. Well, maybe you can. So J is gonna go from, oops. Wait, 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 wait. It has to go from, can I do this? One to two. Wait, let me see if I got range correctly. Can I see the mouse? Oh, well, let's try that. I might have done completely wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. I ruined the program. Can we undo this? Yeah, let's undo it. We'll, we'll come back to that later. Oh, undo. I need to brush up on my... Oh. Oh, yeah. My range. All right, so we've got our agent here. Let's test him. Kind of still works. Yeah, still works. Now he has to turn left or right. How about we just go right? <coughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> you can't go left or right. We have your, all your Look, choices there's there. Look, there's still a block here. Yeah, that's fine. Because he just moved. Oh, and then he places him back. Yeah. I took me so long to realize that. All right. Mm. Let's keep going. So now we want to do... I guess we need to do the turn. So I'm going to say that's the turn. Which turn are we doing? Left or right? Right. Right-handed. All right, let's do it. Left-handed. So for the agent to turn right, he's gonna do agent turn right. Yes. Or agent move forward. Well, it's kind of a combo of two. You have to first turn, then move, then turn. Or you could just do this. Oh. Are you going for? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna do a left move? Uh, um, problem. You erase too much. Yeah, let's let's undo. There you go. You wanna backspace this? And uh, so you wanna move right? Okay. Then you go backwards. Then you go backwards. Let's uh, let's take a look. But will that work since we're moving? Since we're placing Well, back. you're going to have to place forward and then move Okay, backwards. I'll do that. All right, so let's copy-paste the code then. Let's get that going. And then agent... You probably want to copy all the... You need... All right. Are you moving twice? No. Oh, no, yes, you could copy I... the original code there. I could. Because you're going to have to set the slots and everything. This? Yeah. So all this? Minus the comments. But... Oh. Yeah, the cursor is just more precise. But yeah, let's do the mouse. Shift. Uh... Here we go. But you know what? How about we test this code? See whether this this works before we. All right. So, uh, uh, Mr. Squiggle. You know, remember when you do copy paste, sometimes it messes up your tabs. And I think we should have a comment here. Wait. Let's put a comment here. Say slot one. And we do slot two, then we turn right, and we do slot one again. All right, let's see how that works. Not uh, quite what we expected. Looks pretty cool. But we need. But it doesn't look like 
at all like a uh, checkerboard. I think we should just go and turn right, then move backwards, then turn right. Can we look at the, the code now? <laughs> yeah, sometimes coding. So I think one of the mistakes we're doing, just let's just run the code in our head. I is one, I zero. Set the slot, move forward. Set the slot, move forward. Then move right. So this is in the same loop. This should have been the end of the loop. Oh. Right? Something like that. Oh, and then I know what we had to do. Then you put a new loop here. Then you put a new loop for uh, going back. Sorry, I was listening to the mouse. All right, so I'm going to copy this. E okay. And I'm going to do a new loop here. Now, we didn't patch the code to do back. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're still going to be... Well, let's try to run it now and see what it looks like. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's interfering with the others. Okay, it's doing this thing. It's not going back. It did move right. So it's supposed to move right. It did. Yeah. Oh, I know what we had to do. I had the thinking goggles. All right. Okay. Why did we miss? So we did a whole bunch of copy paste. You should know. So let's write, let's read the code. No, I know, I know, I know. So what we do here is we're still moving forward when we're right. supposed to moving backwards. Because that's how I made the code. Yeah. I made the code so we're. You supposed were too to lazy to turn, so now you're paying the price. <laughs> Yeah, so we have to move backwards. All right, we move backwards. Yes, let's do that. Yes, back. And then do that, do the same for here. Now. Now I know what we have to do. Back. Yes. Now. Are you going to place in the back still? Wait, I am trying you're to... moving back now. It's an... you, you're not going to be able to move back because you're placing back to... I know, I know. That's what I'm looking for. Agents place. Where are you going to place it? Oh, forward. Yeah, so when you copy, copy code, it's a great moment to introduce lots of bugs. It happens also to professional developers and uh, just need to be careful with that one. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, he's going to be messed up. Hey. Oh, oh, we can't tell. Yeah. I can't really tell. Wait a yeah, second. Yeah, there's a few issues. Let's, let's keep going. I think it's because it's, you it might have to go backwards before starting to, after turning. Why does he place there? Well, because, uh, hold on, hold on, stop moving. It's supposed to be checkered. He goes here, and is here, then he moves one more, and then he's here. Then he moves here, then he plays something back. The whole strategy is not great. Oh, wait, I have an idea. You need to move him back to this location. He just, he moves back? Then turns right. You know what? How about we don't do the move? I'm paying the price and I don't want to. <sighs> yeah, um, looks like my encoder, my graphic card is complaining. So I think we're going to stop it today here. Uh, uh, and then we'll do the second part of the, of oh, the no. code. I think it's it good seems now. that it's. Uh, it's getting some uh, some problems. So this is where we are. We are halfway through the checkers. We uh, have we, done so much lines. We have a lot of bugs right now. So we'll be coming back with uh, 
was trying to find some solutions for these yeah, bugs. Yeah, let's figure out what's going on with with Minecraft here. We'll take our fly swatters. Hit the bugs. All right. Uh, see you tomorrow, and we'll be finishing this checkerboard in MakeCode Python.